Despite the frothy stock market, there are still some decent opportunities for value investors out there. Are you searching for stocks with downrated valuations and the potential to grow when the market knows their true worth? Look no further and stick with us until the end because we bring you the seven stocks that will soar high. Hello, future billionaires. Welcome to Stock Investing 101, the channel where you get stock inspiration, motivation, and knowledge to become the next future billionaire. In today's video, we bring you seven best stocks to buy now for 2021. Without any further ado, let's dive in. Number seven, GNOG. This was formerly Landcadia Holdings. The merger was, however, approved. It used to be a SPAC, and now it's its own ticker mark, and we're really seeing GNOG dip. But this is Landcadia, and you can see that the 21 EMA is the exponential moving average, about $22 now, if we look at GNOG, since the ticker symbol has recently shifted. So there's not a lot of data out there. You'll note that it's already at $22, right where the EMA 21 was. LCA, which is again the same stock, is only used to change the LCA LCA and ticker symbol, but it's trading right about here right now. Golden Nugget Gaming is now profitable, unlike DraftKings. It's an older organization, actually. It's not a brand new business, and they're constantly getting approvals in various states like New Jersey. The governor of New York was talking about potentially legalizing gambling as a way to raise money for New York. This will be the largest opportunity for a business like Golden Nugget Gaming, with potentially new gaming administration and cannabis will be the two key untapped markets that are expected to see astronomical development as the legislature progresses to legalize these two major sources of income from cannabis gambling. It's a buy and hold, especially here from the 21 EMA. And the life cycle of specs before and how post-merger you do end up seeing a drop in the same way that we saw here, and this drop was about 18%. So post-merger, we fell by 18%. It's in the 21 EMA. Number six, MP, Materials Corporation. This one is also bouncing off the 21 exponential moving average. This was a beast in 2020. It has literally tripled in value in less than two months. We're now around 8% off this candle, but MP is predicted to double someplace around here in 2021. Now, in a nutshell, what does the Material Corp do? They're a rare earth mining company with a recent US government policy that actually regulates where the US can get rare minerals. Basically, it bars the US from being able to procure rare minerals from adversary countries. Most of these minerals come from China, so it's very rare for MP to monopolize the untapped market. They are simply collecting rare minerals either from the United States or from North America. This article and Seeking Alpha, demand for nickel and aluminum are expected to rise by an unprecedented 14 times between now and 2030. Phosphorus and iron could multiply 10 times the sum of copper and graphite. And then obviously we know that many of these minerals are used for EV and EV batteries as well, and that field is increasing exponentially on its own. Number 5. PLNHF – Planet 13 Holdings This cannabis company will be the next big untapped market to be unleashed and to create a world of opportunities for us. Looking at its profitability, many of those cannabis companies are having trouble generating a profit margin, but Planet 13 is already generating a healthy profit margin of about 53%. If we look at the EBITDA year over year, we see that it's rising by 150%. Unlike some of the other cannabis firms, they are based in Canada. Planet 13 is currently located in the United States of America in Nevada as legalization continues to roll out in other states and possibly federal legalization, particularly if a new administration comes in. This is very good news for a business like Planet 13, which still generates a gross profit margin, not a net profit margin, but already generates healthy sales as well as $22.8 in revenue during the pandemic. It has plans to extend to other nations. A lot of these companies mean that these companies are not on indices like the NASDAQ or evidently the SP500, but as things get more normalized, and legalized, we should expect some of these businesses to creep in. Currently trading under $6 at about $5.66, I'm happy to keep it here for 2021 and beyond. Number 4. NEO China continues to reopen as it extends to Europe, as it said it was going to do as car sales around the world recovers. And EV car sales is specifically increasing exponentially. Even after it released a hefty amount of shares, it's only just going back to the 50 moving average. It wasn't that bad at the retrace. And even after some Chinese stocks had been beaten in the Alibaba debacle. Neo just really held on, and his trade bound range here is just consolidating at this really flat stage at the 50 moving average. It's a really positive indication. Actually, it's under $50. Selling 15% of its all time highs happens to Neo in 2021. 
Number three, Baidu. We had a 15, almost 15% day at Baidu. This was amazing. A few days ago, after this bull's flag was created here and now, we're about 15% on it. It can easily hit the $300 price target, which would be almost a 50% gain. It's a lot more upside down because it's acquiring AI patents like no one's business. Baidu is certainly investing heavily in AI and R&D. Not only that, but they're also looking to join the EV space. We don't know if they're going to buy another company or build their own vehicle, but they're going to join EV space in China. Suppose we take a look at this article from the online search engine of Chinese electrolysis. Baidu looks poised to enter the EV industry in a major way, according to insiders. This article has just been published this month, by the way. The internet giant is either looking at either setting up its own majority venture with an automaker or becoming an automaker itself. So, well, we don't know yet, but they've got the money. They've got the money, they've got the profits. They're always smashing the profits and they've got the contacts. Now, there was also a rumor that Baidu and Neo were going to work together together. We don't know whether or not these rumors are established. If that were the case, that would be huge for both firms. Either way, we'll see at least 50% upside down for Baidu in 2021. Number 2. DBX Anything Dropbox does at the moment is not groundbreaking. It's stable. They've got working goods. They are certainly profitable. They've been around for a long time now, but they're certainly a merger and acquisition candidate. There are so many reports in the gossip mill about the takeover of Dropbox by a larger tech firm. We don't know who that is, and if you guys don't know, they're a cloud-based storage device. There are, therefore, a variety of large corporations that can benefit from this. There are just loads of articles on the internet, you know, that could prove attractive to Microsoft, Oracle, IBM, Dell. We saw Salesforce gain 20 27.7 billion in cash earlier this year. So all of these big tech firms will be able to buy Dropbox in 2021. And as you guys know, when stocks are bought, they appear to boom. So we can easily see Dropbox get to at least the $26 mark, maybe the $30 level, maybe $30 or more. Number 1. Boeing BA BA has a huge upside down to get back to where it was right before the pandemic. We're talking about 70 to 75% of growth just to get back to the price it was before the pandemic. And it may not even hit that price, which may obviously be the case depending on what happens to the economy. But we know that the 737 MAX problems are likely to be resolved because they're flying back in the air. American Airlines is the first US airline to use them commercially. It could take a while before we see new orders for Boeing aircraft because, you know, travel demand is practically stunted by the pandemic. However, if this increases, we are likely to see the stock price rise in anticipation of this. Note, stock prices are actually just a foretelling of what investors think the future holds, not what's going on right now. If investors and traders see in the near horizon that demand for travel is going to grow massively and these airline companies are going to start ordering new aircraft again, there will be a huge upside for Boeing. But note too that Boeing is not just an airline. It's still a military contractor. It has contracts for space flight launch vehicles, etc. So it's a full-time aeronautics business from one end of the continuum to the other, and it clearly produces a huge amount of revenue every year. We're talking about sales close to $100 billion and beyond. If you'd like to stay up to date with the best and latest content about stocks and entrepreneurship, then make sure to subscribe to our channel and leave a like on this video. Did you find this video valuable or do you want to add anything? Make sure to let us know in the comment section down below. We're posting a new video every day with the most undervalued stocks in the market right now.